Welcome to the world of fractals, Isaro's science art. No software has been used to make this collection of art pieces. Chaos and fractals. For a very long time, and for reasons we cannot explain or justify, science and art have been perceived as two separate things. During the Renaissance, artists and mathematicians had close relationships. It's a known fact that many artists were exceptional mathematicians. Leonardo da Vinci is a great example of a scientist that was also an exceptional artist. Or Escher, an artist born in the Netherlands whose paintings and illustrations are considered mathematical marvels. And Vesalio, an anatomist that was really successful by utilizing one of Tizano's discipline's illustrators as an inspiration for his revolutionary works on anatomy. There are a lot of examples like these that illustrate the close relationship between science and art. Art, science, and technology have only been possible thanks to the development of the human brain, which happened slowly through roughly six million years of evolution. Humans' first priorities were survival and species perpetuity. Artistic expression tools emerged slowly around 20,000 years ago, and mainly thanks to the abilities of the men of Cromagnon with mostly pictorial art. Their abilities were passed on through generations promoted by genetics and making modern culture possible. The first schools we know were art schools, and they had their bases in pictorial art displaying figurative and abstract forms. And although we don't know exactly when they were conceived, we know that their existence is closely related to genes and physical surroundings. Their use of geometry was very similar to the Euclidean way to represent animals and men. The second school of art was founded in Egypt by the husband of the legendary Queen Nefertiti. After the fall of the Egyptian Empire, art spread widely across the world. Some of the oldest examples were found in Mesopotamia, Greece, and later across all corners of the world. At the beginning of the century, many painters and pictorial schools used nature as their main subject, trying to imitate it. For instance, the Impressionists. Nonetheless, Nature cannot be adequately depicted by painters and mathematicians because nature's geometry is greatly different to Euclidean. Cezanne maintained that the only things he needed to create his art were cubes, spheres, and other Euclidean forms. Everything indicates that all representations of art were either figurative or abstract until the first fractals were discovered by Benoit Mandelbrot in 1975. Currently, we know that around 75% of the shapes in nature are fractalic, including the ones that make up the human body inside and out. For instance, the brain structure, the circulatory system, and the structure that makes it possible to maintain the brain mass in a tight and small space. Many basic functions like perception work with chaotic patterns and their perspective attractors are part of the chaotic phenomena originated from fractals. Everything that we have mentioned can be compiled in the following three types of art, pictorial art, abstract art, and fractal art. Fractal art is the result of the interaction between physical, chemical, biological, and mathematical elements. The common factor between these three types of art is scientists or artists, and their work is directly influenced by their genes and physical surroundings. Our interest in fractals originated in 1990 and was born from the symbiotic relationship between art and science. This compilation of artwork portrays artistic paintwork expressed by men of science. Our fractalic paintings can be mathematically measured, therefore have qualitative and quantitative characteristics and can also be appreciated by their aesthetic. Fractals are Mother Nature's beautiful manifestation and fractal art in not only the portrayal of the conjunction between art and science, but the pinnacle expression of nature interpreted by art and science. A bridge between art and science. The innovative technique that embodies fractal figures is called fractal painting. This particular technique's creators 
Isabel Hernandez Medina and Rodolfo Guzman Tolendano offer a display of the union between art and science. The objective of presenting these paintings is not to replace the previous ones, nor to compete against them, but to boost and picture them by exhibiting a new art vision. This is the geometric expression of chaos emerging from fractals. Fractals can occur in reduced spaces, but their edges are so detailed that their reproduction wouldn't be possible with any other technique. Fractalic paintings comes from the idea of moving forward into the infinity.